But first, no more wasted vaccines, something northern Arizona counties are now committed to. And that's where we begin tonight. I'm Yetta Gibson. And I'm Brandon Lee. Several Arizona counties are now using standby lists for the COVID vaccine so that no doses go to waste at the end of each day. The big question, what about Maricopa County? Brianna Whitney joining us live tonight with the county's response to this, Brianna. Well, with Arizona's huge vaccine shortage right now, of course, doctors don't want any vaccines to go to waste. And now in northern Arizona, they're doing something about it to try and prevent that. But even after Maricopa County had hundreds of wasted doses, it doesn't sound like a wait list is anything they want to try. Is the answer to saving lives as fast as possible? We kind of treat the vaccine a little bit like liquid gold. Um, and, and we are, are very aware that, you know, we do not want to waste. Dr. April Corona is chief medical officer at North Country Healthcare, a medical system that serves several Arizona counties, including Coconino. They just started a system-wide vaccine wait list for their 14 different clinics. After having three to five vaccines left over each day at each clinic due to cancellations or no-shows. Has that saved you guys from wasting a lot of vaccines since you've started that? Absolutely, we've wasted zero vaccines. Since you started the wait list? Mm -hmm. Yavapai County also implementing a new wait list for 65 and older in Prescott, Prescott Valley, and Cottonwood. Their county health spokesperson telling us over the phone the wait list has been working well. But as for Maricopa County, the largest county in the state, no sign of using wait lists yet. In a statement Wednesday, a spokesperson said public health has several processes in place to ensure we have as few overprepared doses as possible at the end of each day. At this time, we are not opening waiting lists. Standby lists are important and, and I think that they should be employed everywhere, but it's just logistics. Basically, uh, running a list like that and then making those phone calls and you're asking those people to come within a half hour of that phone call usually um, a lot of times it's difficult. Dr. Andrew Carroll says because of Maricopa County's large size the coordination of calling those on a wait list could be challenging but like how North Country Healthcare is handling it he suggests an early heads up call to be ready to go. What I would suggest is that we have a standby list and then that morning you get a phone call saying you might get a vaccine today, but you must be here within 30 minutes of the call, so be on standby, almost like you're waiting for the cable guy. Um, and, 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 and if you get that call, don't miss it. Maricopa County did say there have been some second vaccine dose appointments that went unbooked at their pod locations. So they say they're now opening those up for first vaccine dose appointments to people who are 75 years of age and older. Reporting live tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.